Hello geocachers, it's Symbol here and we're at Harley Estate now in Worcestershire or is it Shropshire? They're close on the border anyway, both of the counties. This clue is really good. See if we can find it. It says Big Tree Little Cache and actually this is a huge big oak tree. It's not the one on the uh, left to your left, it's this one, look. I won't be able to get it all on camera. And so it's going to be a tricky one to find. Big tree, little cash. So it's going to be tricky to find, I think, because it's so big. So you can spot it first. You can see how big it is to get a good feeling of how huge this is. Massive branches. And what I did was look round here. There's some of these on the floor that might have been muggled. There's a hole there. Not deep enough. It would have been found. There is one there. I'll put my hand in there. Can you see anything? Oh, is there an is there animal in there? No, there isn't. It's a snake. It's not in that. That would be in a good position to find it. Uh, and there's enough one there, but that's too obvious. Then I thought it might be on the bark because it's a little cache. Because there's little areas like this that you can poke them in. You could get one. Well, you could get a little tube in there. Look, because it's so big, the bark's really large. And I was going to give it up on this one because I looked everywhere around the, the obvious place, the root and the tree, and I thought, well, I can't go up, up there to find it. And it doesn't say uh, like 10 feet, 7 feet or 6 feet. And so what I did with my GPS, I looked, and can you see, I don't know if it's going to focus, all the did not finds. So I thought this is not going to be very good. Except for the last one. So I was going to put a did not find. The last one says, can you read it? Under a tree branch. So that gave, gave me new hope. And so I thought there must be a branch on the floor that's um, fallen down. It's broke or something, but it's nothing on the ground. Well, I can't reach up to those massive branches, 10 foot high, and then there's this one. It's high there, far too high, and it's going away from the what we call the ground zero with the GPS, but actually it gets lower and lower so you can actually reach it. Let's see if you can find it just to say it's on this branch somewhere it could be anywhere a very long branch Let's see if you can spot it I'm just looking to see if I can find it myself I did find it can you see it I think it's in view but I can't see it on the camera I can see it uh, visually Actually, you can see it now. There you go. Isn't that really good? Fantastic. So that is Big Tree, Little Cash. There you are, look. If you'd have put some, if you'd have put some camo on that, you know this gorilla tail, you've got like camouflage, or painted it green, moss green, I'd have never found that. It's got two little um, hooks or two uh, nails and it pushes in like this. I can't get it, I've pushed it in too much. Oh dear, I better loosen it for the next one. That's it. You'll need, um, you need some uh, tweezers to get get it open. But I'll push, I won't push that so, so much, but I didn't want it to fall on the ground either. Um, if you take up geocaching, 
you need some of these to pull out the log, open the top and pull out the log. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a nice summer's uh, day today. We're around our uh, Arboretum and we're off to the next cache, which is down there. So, happy geocaching everyone. Bye for now. And there's some sheep over there, look. Fluffy clouds. Isn't it a lovely day to geocache? And then the sun right up there. Up there in the, in the sky. Right, off we go. See you in a bit. Bye.